dementia is a generic term that is used to describe a lot of conditions and these conditions are all concerned with the brain functions and brain functions can include memory predominantly but also things like language, planning, judgment and communication. The earliest signs of dementia can be difficulty with your smell or difficulty with your gait. But there can be other signs such as forgetting um, what has happened in the last few minutes or in the last few days. There can be difficulties with remembering what to say or asking repetitive questions. There can be other things such as difficulty with sleep or a change in your preferences of eating. And all of these can serve as pointers towards a problem that is slowly developing. So there are about 150 types of dementias identified and there are probably more than that. But the four common types are Alzheimer's dementia, vascular dementia, Lewy body dementia and alcohol related brain damage. Alzheimer's dementia is the commonest and vascular dementia comes close. But the commonest type is probably a mixture of Alzheimer's and vascular. Now the Alzheimer's dementia is usually related to growing old and vascular dementias are usually found a little earlier in life. The alcohol related brain damage which is not strictly a dementia but can progress into dementia is a result of drinking alcohol to excess over a period of years. So dementia can be caused by various conditions one being a lifelong diabetes or uncontrolled hypertension. These conditions can damage the blood supply to the brain. One other cause for dementia can be a prolonged use of alcohol to excess. But in many cases, a specific cause is not found. In Alzheimer's dementia, which becomes apparent mostly after the age of 65, a specific cause is not usually found. There are of course dementias which happen, which are seen earlier on, which are genetic in origin. But most dementias are because of a combination of factors. Now how are the dementias diagnosed? They come to the attention of doctors when problems in a person's daily functioning become apparent. So a person either comes to doctor or more usually the patient is brought to the doctors for more investigation. The diagnosis of dementia is based on clinical testing of brain functions as well as brain imaging. The brain imaging can be CT scan or MRI scan of the brain and clinical testing can be by means of several tests which have been standardized for picking up these difficulties early on. The younger onset dementias are considered to be hereditary. There is one particular called, type called Cadacil, which is cerebral autosomal dominant subcortical infarct leukoencephalopathy. Now this is a condition where there is an autosomal gene which is affected and which causes dementia in your 30s or 40s. A lot of cutting edge research is going on in the field of dementia. I think we are very close to finding a cure for dementia, but unfortunately it is not yet found. What we do know though is that there are several factors which can be helped, mainly in the control of blood pressure and diabetes and all other risk factors for heart disease, there is a possibility of preventing early onset of dementia changes in the brain. There are, there are specific medications which directly affect the neurotransmitters in the brain. We have three of them such as donepezil, rivastigmine and galantamine and one other called memantine which are specifically used for preventing a rapid decline in dementia. 
but there are several other medications which are used to help in symptoms which are associated in dementia such as medications which treat behavioral disturbances depression anxiety and such all of these treatments are effective but they need to be given after assessment and with monitoring they of course have side effects but these side effects are not insurmountable <music>